Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Great in God's sight, April 19. He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much. And he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Luke 16.10 Life is not made up of great things alone. It is the little things that make the sum of life's happiness or miseries. It is the little things in life that reveal a person's real character. Oh, if all youth and those of mature age could see as I have seen the mirror of persons' lives presented before them, they would look more gravely upon even the little duties of life. Every mistake, every error, unimportant though it may be regarded, leaves a scar in this life and a blot on the heavenly records. Life is full of duties that are not agreeable, but all these unpleasant duties will be made agreeable by a cheerful performance of them because it is right. Taking an interest in the duties which someone must do and striving to do them with the heart will make the most disagreeable duties pleasant. There are many who undervalue the small events of life, the little deeds that are to be performed day by day, but these are not to be estimated as small, as every action tells either for a blessing or for the injuring of someone. Every action tells its own story. It bears its own history to the throne of God. It is known whether it is on the side of right or on the side of wrong. It is only by acting in accordance with the principles of God's word in the small transactions of life that we place ourselves on the right side. We are tried and tested by these small occurrences and our character will be estimated according as our work shall be. It is the conscientious attention to what the world calls little things that makes the great beauty and success of life. Little deeds of charity, little words of kindness, little acts of self-denial, a wise improvement of opportunities, a diligent cultivation of little talents, make great men in God's sight.